Hi guys, I just realized I forgot to write my uh, deal here. This is Saxon 76. We are on uh, lesson, I think I'd be prepared, lesson 12. Lesson 12 today. What we're gonna be talking about is place value, place value. And I like this because I uh, used to struggle with this. I remember being in sixth grade, distinctly remember the class. And I remember struggling with where place value goes, what I say when I'm supposed to say it. Like, uh, so I wanna, I kind of wanna, uh, hit that hard for you guys so that you don't uh, think it's more complicated than it needs to be. So guys, if I have something like 317, 317, I'm, I'm tall and my, my I'm standing because my back was killing me. Uh, so, yeah, but I'm tall, so it's kind of an awkward, awkward positioning. I'm going to pause this and see if I can make some adjustments. Hold on. Okay. So I also don't need like this giant bright, you can see my ring light in the back there. It's reflecting on the whiteboard, but uh, it's right in my eyes. So, because now I'm standing. Anyway, 317, okay? 317. Remember, this is our ones, tens, and hundreds places, right? You remember that guy? All right, so it's all the same all the way through. We just have to remember different names for our commas. So what we're going to do is one. Yeah, we'll do it. Tens, hundreds. Ones, tens, hundreds, comma. Ones, tens, Hundreds, comma, bonus, bonus dog time, okay? Standing at my desk. My, can I even, how do I do this? There we go, there's my dog. He's like chilling at my feet. And only because I'm recording right now, he's like, I gotta be right where you are all the time. All right, so one, tens, hundreds, comma, ones, tens, hundreds, comma, one, and 100. All right, so the deal with this is, and guys, if you haven't already, he has to be right where I am. If you haven't already, um, open up your notebook, turn to the videos or the notes section, write down lesson 12 and copy this guy down, okay? It, it'll be really help, helpful for later. This is thousand. This is million. This is billion. This is trillion. All right, so for example, if I wrote down 317, well, that's pretty easy, right? 317. Let me throw a one here. This is 1,317. 1,317. Let's say I put an eight here. Uh, we, and so you'll see that I'm breaking these up into chunks, right? 81,317. Let's put a seven here, okay? 781. 1,317. How about I put a two? So now I have 2,381,317. Maybe I put a nine here. 92,781. Oh, I said and, you're not supposed to say and, that's decimals. 781,317. Uh, I'll put a seven. 792,781,317. Six. Six billion seven hundred ninety-two uh, million seven hundred eighty-one thousand three hundred seventeen. Uh, two hundred six. Two hundred six billion seven hundred ninety-two million seven hundred eighty-one thousand three hundred seventeen. Okay, let's do eighteen here. So now what I have is eighteen trillion two hundred six billion seven hundred ninety-two million seven hundred eighty-one thousand. 317. So really you just have to remember those commas and what they mean. Okay. So make sure you write that down uh, so that you can do the problems in the future. All right. Next one. We have some other problems that we're going to be talking about. Oh, uh, these are my favorite. We're going to be talking, uh, converting between English and math, English and math. The common words that you will see are sum. So make sure you write this down. Sum means addition. Difference. Difference means subtraction. Product means multiplication. Quotient is division. Division. So those are all really important. So make, make sure you write those down, flag them so you have them. Uh, for example, on number five, and guys, if you're following along at home, I'm on the Saxon third edition book, 76. Uh, so on page, I'm on page 55. Example five, it says, what is the difference between the product of six and four? 
What is the difference between the product of six and four? So what I think is the easiest way to do these, what is the difference between the product of six and four? Um, is, I walk away with my marker caps all the time. All right, so, give me a second. Oh wait, no, there's pencil right here, bam. I think it's easier to work your way backwards on these. Um, so, oh, actually, no, I see what they're asking now. The difference between the product of six and four and the sum of six and four. I thought we were gonna have to get into parentheses and I'm like that is crazy early for this. So the difference between the product of six and four, the product of six and four, six times four, okay? That equals 24. And the sum of six and four, six plus four equals 10. What is the difference between those two? One's 24 and one's 10, right? But mathematically speaking, difference means subtract. So 24 minus 10, 14. The difference between those, 14. All right, so turn to page uh, 56 and uh, go ahead and do those practice problems, A through E. And when you're done, come on back and we'll do those together. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, earlier when I said that this is ones, tens, hundreds, one, tens, hundred, right? Um, that's, that's the case, but this is actually, when I said this column was, or this comma was thousand, what I'm saying is actually this guy is the one right next to it, right? And so this one will be millions. I just think it's easier to write it the way that I did with the comma and everything. Ones, tens, hundreds, because then you can see the pattern and math's all about patterns. All right, so the question is asking us, uh, what digit, digit is in the millions place? Well, the millions, the comma right here, so it's the one right next to it. It's this guy. So it's going to be three. So that's A. Okay, that was for A. B, what is the place value of the one in that giant number? All right, what's the place value of the one? This guy right here. Well, this is, we know is thousands. We know this guy is millions. We know this guy is billions. So this one is 10, remember, because it's one, 10, 100. So it's 10 billions, 10 billions. Okay. Oh, oh losing my marker. It's really like being in a classroom with me. Just chaos all the time. All right, so D, right? Use digits to write 4 billion, 520 million. 4 billion. 520 million, right? Uh, oh, and that's it. So we've got to go, so that's 4 million. We, we need 4 billion. Good, okay. And E, what is, or when the product of six and four, six times four equals 24, is divided by the difference of six and four, the difference means subtract, so when this garbage is divided by this garbage, what is that quotient? That's this guy. It's going to be 12. 12. Good. All right. Hopefully that helped. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.